Hey everyone, my name is Cody Reader, and I have been in Dr. Um, Gonzalez's class, um, British Literature class, and so um, today I'm going to I'm doing my final presentation, and we'll be um, talking about how um, reading and interpreting the course text for English 2321 um, can help me be beyond this virtual classroom. I'm going to talk about three different points that I think are important. Um, and three different things that, that I learned from this course that I think will help me beyond this classroom. Um, the first thing is just a basic knowledge of the different centuries, um, starting with the Middle Ages, going to the 16th century, 17th, 18th, um, on forward to reading about the 20th century and after. Um, I thought it was very interesting to go through each time period and come to a new understanding of what that time period looked like, uh, especially in regard to literature, um, whether this be who the big authors of that time period were, um, or other things as well. Further, I thought that coming to, uh, in coming to a better understanding of these time periods, um, it was also interesting to learn about the Romantic period, um, which happened between um, kind of the later part of the 18th century and into the 19th century. Um, and just learning things specific about that time period, such as how nature was so important um, to the people of that time. So that's the first thing I learned. Um, just the, the uh, simple things uh, that, that would go on through that time period um, that I didn't already know um, that I think will benefit me in the future and just knowing them. And so next, uh, I want to talk about just some of the readings and um, how, you know, some of the readings were not easy reads. Uh, they were difficult. They stimulated my thinking. Um, and oftentimes I think that we um, get very used to reading things that we pick or reading things that interest us. Um, not that these, these stories um, and poems didn't interest me, but um, it wasn't something that I went out of the way to pick to read. And um, so I think it was important for me to go through these readings, um, and, and each of them did stimulate my thinking. Uh, my favorites specifically were Beowulf, the general prologue to the Canterbury Tales, and the poem about the love song of um, J. Alfred Prufrock, and uh, they all stimulated my thinking uh, and made me read a lot more critically, which I think is a tool that is really important, and it was something that was really good for me to practice throughout this British literature class. The last thing that I uh, took away from this class that was a recent, um, something that I recently came to understand was just the, the idea of uh, elitism. Uh, and, and this idea came from reading the love song of J. Alfred Pro Prufrock and writing my discussion board entry about the topic. I thought it was not only just interesting, and not only just an interesting poem that took a lot of brain power to understand, but it also made me think hard about people that might feel similarly to the way Prufrock feels in thinking he is inferior to the higher class people that he was around. Um, this was sad to me. Um, the man kind of lived a sad, sorry life um, based on this poem, and it made me kind of realize, like, that it, it's pretty important how I treat everyone I come in contact with and try to make them a priority because Prufrock didn't feel that way at all. And so it just kind of, it changed my perspective in regard to how I treat people. And so, um, yeah, I want to say thank you to Dr. Gonzalez for a great semester. I learned a lot and uh, really appreciated this course.